June 15th, 2018. Tomorrow is the Ontario bass opener for part of Ontario, my part of Ontario. Today, headed to Rice Lake, going out walleye fishing. Got a couple, few walleye rods here, a couple new Tatua Elite Series spinning rods with Tatua 3000s that we're gonna break in, use for the first time. But the mission for today, before we go bass fishing tomorrow, is have these old Lorenz units that I know how to read well. I have this brand new Garmin unit with pan optics. I've never used it before. So the most important thing about having good electronics and the new and freshest thing is that you gotta know how to read them. You gotta know what to translate the information you're getting off this into here so that these things can catch fish. We're gonna go launch the boat. Hopefully we're gonna pick up some walleye. Wednesday, it rained all day at Port in Ontario. Thursday, R&J Tire came and picked up the Fear Fishing Rig. Oil change, tire rotation, we're all good for bass season. Bass season opens tomorrow. Sean McCall and I are going to Sturgeon Lake to pre-fish for Sunday's CSFL event. So it's gonna be a busy time of year. But before we do anything, we need to learn how to use this. Couldn't have picked a better morning to do this. Rice Lake is absolutely as smooth as silk. We're gonna go put the boat in. Hopefully we're gonna catch some walleye. It'd be a bummer to come out here and not catch anything. But the main focus is to get the Garmin unit ready. Snap it in here. There it is. Easy peasy. Go out there, fire around some crankbaits. This unit should help cut down gigantically on pre-fish time. Not only pre-fish time, but it should help us make be more effective during tournaments. If we get it down pat, we should be able to roll up to a, a spot with deeper smallmouth, because that's what it takes to win most of these tournaments. See if there's any fish there, and if there isn't, move on. And if there is fish there, then fish them more effectively. You get eight hours in a tournament, and we want to use that eight hours as efficiently as we possibly can. So let's get this boat in the water, figure it out if we can't if I for some reason I can't get it to work properly I'll have somebody come out and show me what I'm doing wrong but I'm sure it's easy peasy most technology today is pretty user friendly so let's go get, get this done hopefully catch some fish For a couple hours now, two walleye on the boat. I lost another one. It's actually uh, pretty busy out here with boats today on a Friday the, before the bass opener. Some guy over there flipping the shoreline for uh, must be walleye because bass isn't open till tomorrow. Doing a little pre scouting. I want to show you this pan optics unit. Super cool, absolutely amazing. Super, it was really easy to install. You guys saw the other night, Mercer Marine hooked this all up. I got out here today, I had to make one adjustment on the sonar. All I had to do was point it a hair more than I had the other day just for it didn't hit the the nose of my trolling motor so bad. So first I'll show you that. Right here is the head of the trolling motor. Right here goes your pan optics transducer. So all you have to do, put your trolling motor in the water. There's a weed edge on my left hand side, open water on my right hand side. This right here is the weed edge. If we go straight, that's a little bit of sporadic weed. And if we go to the right hand side, we pretty much have open water out here. So watch it again. All I do is scan and we have weed. And over here we have open water. What I've been using it this morning on, this is side find from the front of my trolling motor. So I've been just watching this and trying to get my line just on the outside of the weed edge. Weed, open water. See that? Weed, open water. And then straight in front of me, we can find the weed edge that's right here. Super simple to hook up, super simple to use on the water. It's not, if you're nervous about uh, electronics, the Garmin unit was incredibly simple to use. All, we hooked it up, I brought it out here, I made one tiny adjustment. I set my beam, it's shooting out 52 feet. My sensitivity is set at 80%, that simple. And you're not only now fishing around you, you're fishing in front of you, which is where the fish are.
solid morning on the water. Got a few fish. Finally got to use the Ned Hog by Angler's Choice. Really cool Canadian company out of like the Windsor area. I haven't used the Ned Hog this year for walleye, but I got it out today. I brought uh, my new Ned Rig rod. Popped a walleye on that. I'm going to use that this weekend for sure for smallmouth. This is why we came to make sure that we had the, I could read it for it was dialed in. I'm telling you, it's super, super simple for the technology. Super easy to read. It's really not that expensive compared to what technology like this used to be. I don't have like the crazy 10 inch or 12 inch or 16 inch, you know, on the front of the boat. With the pan optics, you could definitely walk home with that for under 1400 bucks. And I know a lot of you guys out there don't have great big boats and you're not looking to blow the budget on fish finders. With the new live scope coming out from Garmin, there's gonna be a ton of guys selling their transducers from pan optics to go to live scope. So if you buy a Garmin unit that's capable in a couple months when it hits Canada, there will be all kinds of used transducers to buy. So it'll even be cheaper for you to get into, you know, this on your boat, whatever you have at home. I'm telling you, I saw things that I've never seen before. I found it was much easier to stay on the weed bed. And as soon as bass opens tomorrow, I will guarantee you this is going to step up the smallmouth bass game on those rock shoals and places there's no weed because you're gonna be able to see those fish actually on the pan optics unit. So check it out. Keep your mind open. Keep looking. Like everything in the world, as technology gets better and better, the, you know, stuff that's a couple years old gets cheaper and cheaper and more affordable for average Joe like me and you. So home from fishing. Pretty good morning catching walleye. Hands down the best part of the morning was getting to use that Garmin unit. Check this out. This is what the Garmin unit looks like without the actual screen on it. Easy to remove, easy to take in the house. <laughs> Unlike these old Lorenz units where you gotta unhook all the cables, unscrew it all, then take it in the house. The only downside to the units this morning, this old girl didn't wanna work properly. It decided that it, first it kicked out the uh, Navionics chip. It kept flickering the power on and off. So Andrew Mercer's gotta drop off a couple frogs for me for his buddy Jack, who I'm gonna deliver to on Sunday morning before the tournament. So he's gonna have a look at that, why that happened. Other thing going on, RLM. Elite Box Bass. They're huge supporters of the Fear Fishing Podcast. I'm supposed to open these on the podcast show, but because tomorrow's bass season, we're gonna open it right now because I need more lures. I never got subscription boxes before, but I started getting the RLM box and I'm getting lures that I wouldn't normally buy and I'm using them to catch fish. So let's open this. It'll give us some fresh baits for opening day of bass. Pack of four odd hooks. Super awesome. Can never have enough hooks. I like to use fresh hooks at the beginning of every tournament. Fusion Extreme, Lucky Bug, kind of a crankbait, smaller crankbait. And if those fish are post spawn we may need that tomorrow. Your Slam Card, Flirty Frog, Top Water Bait. This is huge. Freedom, Tackle, Buzz Bait. After watching Greg Hackney pound the snot out of them in Texas, the Buzz Bait is Something I'm going to throw more of, so pumped to have that. Nasty hooker flipping jig. Anybody who ever fished with me knows that I love throwing the jig. So, man, you can't go wrong with that. It's just like a swim jig. Look at that. Half ounce. It's got a swimming hook. Be throwing down some smallies on that. Pack of classic four-inch swim baits. Be throwing those more this year after the success we had pike fishing. Sticks and stones buff. I could have used that today for sure. My back of my neck is sunburnt like crazy. Oh man, best lure company, another top water. X-Zone Pro Series Finesse Slammers. I caught a lot of fish on Slammers over there. ROM box, check it out. Use the go to simplefishing.ca. You can use the Fear Fishing code at your checkout. You'll get $10 off your first box. Just use discount code Fear Fishing and you will be happy to receive this in the mail once every two months. I have got all the running around done. Five o'clock, 12 hours from now, Sean McCall and I will be on the road to Sturgeon Lake to get ready for the first CSFL event of the season on Sunday. Make sure you get to over to the CSFL Facebook page. You will be able to watch the weigh-in live there. On Sunday, starting at three o'clock, awesome news. So I got the storage bins for the, the boat, the pan optics, and those old Lorenz units are all ready to go for tomorrow. In awesome news, for at least five, six, seven years, I've been using this old GoPro to film in the front of the boat. It's the second camera that you guys see today in the mail, three days early. Brand new Hero 5 came. That's the camera that we've been using the most to film the fishing. I'm ultra excited that this came because this will not charge anymore. This will, the batteries are so cooked, they don't want to charge anymore. So tomorrow we're going to have two 
GoPro Hero 5s in the boat, bringing the action home to you. I hope you guys all have an amazing bass opener if you're in Ontario. If you're American, you've already been having a great time. Get out there, catch some bass. Remember to use discount code FEARFISHING at simplefishing.ca. Get your own RLM Elite box. I'm telling you, it's pretty cool. He's been getting a lot of baits in there I normally wouldn't buy, but I'm trying. I'm gonna put the hammer down. I'll let you guys know which fish I catch on RLM baits throughout the summer. I got two more rods to rig, have some dinner with Amber, and then it's the main event tomorrow. I'm gonna get to editing this right now so I can see Amber for a few hours before. I don't see her until September. It's time to kiss some bass. Subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll see you soon. Bass vision.